The most effective ways to connect your Acer monitor to your laptop are through HDMI or USB-C connections. Both methods offer distinct advantages for different use cases. HDMI is the most straightforward connection method. Simply plug one end into your laptop's HDMI port and the other into your monitor. HDMI transmits both video and audio signals through a single cable, making it ideal for most users. USB-C offers more versatility, but requires both your laptop and monitor to support DisplayPort Alt mode for video output. The key advantage is that USB-C can simultaneously deliver power to your laptop, reducing cable clutter significantly. Here you can see the various ways to connect your laptop to monitors. Whether using direct HDMI, USB-C, or adapters, the key is ensuring compatibility between your devices. Once physically connected, you'll need to configure your display settings, access Windows display settings, select Extend these displays for dual monitor setup, and choose the appropriate resolution and refresh rate for optimal image quality. USB-C is becoming the preferred connection method due to its versatility. It can handle video output, data transfer, and power delivery through a single cable. This makes it ideal for modern laptops and monitors, offering a cleaner, more efficient setup. You now understand the two primary methods for connecting your Acer monitor to your laptop. Choose HDMI for simplicity or USB-C for advanced functionality and power delivery. VGA is an older analog connection type that's becoming less common in modern devices. While some equipment still includes VGA ports, it has significant limitations compared to digital connections. The key limitation of VGA is that it only transmits video signals. Unlike HDMI and USB-C connections, VGA cannot carry audio, so you'll need separate audio cables for sound. When you encounter a no-signal message on your monitor, there are several systematic troubleshooting steps you can follow to resolve the connection issue. Step 1. Check all cable connections to ensure they are firmly seated. Loose connections are the most common cause of signal issues. Verify both ends of the cable are properly connected. Step two, verify your laptop is outputting to the correct video source. Use your laptop's display settings or function keys to ensure the external monitor is selected as an output device. Step three, cycle through your monitor's input options. Most monitors have multiple input ports, so use the monitor's menu buttons to select the correct input source that matches your cable connection. If these basic steps don't resolve the issue, try resetting your monitor to factory settings. This can resolve configuration conflicts that might be preventing proper signal detection. For USB-C connections, cable quality is crucial. Not all USB-C cables support video output, so ensure you're using a high-quality cable that specifically supports DisplayPort alternate mode for video transmission. Finally, be aware that some adapters, particularly HDMI to DisplayPort adapters, are directional. They only work in one direction. So ensure you're using the adapter correctly from source device to display device.